The next item of business is consideration of business motion 7375 in the name of George Adam on behalf of the Parliamentary Bureau on a change to future business. And I call on George Adam to move the motion. Thank you, President Officer, and moved. Thank you. I call on Alexander Burnett to speak to and move Amendment 7375.2. Uh, thank you, Presiding Officer. Obviously, we do not support the SNP's plans to make independence the very first thing Parliament debates in 2023. With all the issues facing Scotland right now and all the problems they could try to improve that lie within the Scottish Parliament's competence, they instead decide to waste time on a reserved matter. My amendment puts Scotland's issues into the agenda for 2023, and I encourage all self-respecting members of the Parliament to support it, and I move the amendment in my name. Thank you. I call on Neil Bibby to speak to and move amendment 7375.1. Thank you, Presiding Officer. Uh, the Minister and I have had many, many conversations over the last few weeks about the timetabling of parliamentary business, which I have enjoyed very much. Uh, but I do have to say the suggestion that on the first day back in 2023 we should prioritise the debate on the SNP's general election strategy on a de facto re referendum is not something I or Labour are going to support. I have consistently argued that on the Parliamentary Bureau we need to be responsive to the needs of our constituents and tackle the big issues facing them. Instead of discussing the government's business suggested, we should be discussing the crisis affecting our NHS when we return in January. NHS workers could be on strike, and that is frankly what should be at the top of our agenda. It is an extremely serious situation. If these strikes do come to pass, I believe our constituents would be astonished at the idea that we would debate anything else, presiding officer. Not only that, and as Sarwar highlighted earlier today, very serious and significant concerns that need urgent attention, such as A&E waiting times, mental health waiting times for our children, cancer treatment and many more issues. We want to put forward our proposals for improving the situation uh, right here and right now, and also Labour's long-term solutions to help fix the NHS crisis, such as Labour's plan to end non-DOM tax status and invest £3.2 billion in the NHS to provide the biggest expansion of medical training in the NHS's history. The first debate of 2023 should demonstrate what our priorities are for the year ahead. We believe that priority and that debate should be on the NHS, and that, therefore I move the amendment my name. Thank you, and I call on George Adam to respond on behalf of the Parliamentary Bureau. Thank you, Presiding Officer. Presiding Officer, I find it somewhat ironic that there are those that are seeking to deny, deny a democratic debate which highlights how the current constitutional settlement is denying democracy in Scotland. And thank, frankly, the case for the people of Scotland to be given the choice and the chance of a better future is becoming stronger every day. With inflation running at 10 per cent, household incomes predicted to fall to 2014 levels, the economy in recession people facing horrific choice between choosing between heat and eating this winter, millions facing eye-watering increases in their housing costs in 2023, and Brexit, of course, presiding officer, compounding all of these, creating labour shortages, trade barriers, higher business costs and lost tax income. All this shows it's time for the people of Scotland to get the choice to choose a future where they are wealthier, healthier and happier. Presiding officer, I won't ever apologise for encouraging this Parliament to debate the people of Scotland's right to choose their own future. The question is that Amendment 7375.2 in the name of Alexander Burnett, which seeks to amend Business Motion 7375 in the name of George Adam on behalf of the Parliamentary Bureau on a change to future business, be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. The Parliament is not agreed, therefore we will move to a vote and members should cast their votes now.
The vote is closed. Point of order, Marie McNair. App didn't refresh. I would have voted no. Thank you. We'll ensure that's recorded. The result of the vote on amendment number 7375.2 in the name of Alexander Burnett is yes 30, no 68. There were 24 abstentions. The amendment is therefore not agreed. The next question is that amendment 7375.1 in the name of Neil Bibby, which seeks to amend business motion 7375 in the name of George Adam on behalf of the Parliamentary Bureau on a change to future business be agreed. Are we all agreed? The Parliament is not agreed, therefore we will move to a vote and members should cast their votes now. The vote is closed. The result of the vote on amendment number 7375.1 in the name of Neil Bibby is yes 54, no 68. There were no abstentions. The amendment is therefore not agreed. The next question is that motion 7375 in the name of George Adam on behalf of the Parliamentary Bureau on a change to future business be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. The Parliament is not agreed. Therefore, we'll move to a vote. Members should cast their votes now. The vote is closed. <coughs> Point of order, Megan Gallagher. Thank you, Presiding Officer. My app froze. I would have voted no. Thank you. We'll ensure that's recorded. The result of the vote on motion 7375 in the name of George Adam is yes 68, no 55. There were no abstentions. The motion is therefore agreed. The next item of business is portfolio questions. I'll allow a moment or two for front benches to, to organise themselves.